Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about dynamic routing, and this is possible with the parameters, or we also call them URL params. And uh, these are the points of our video. First of all, we will learn what is dynamic routing. Then we will make a list from uh, user JSON data. Then we will add a simple routing, and after that, we will convert this simple routing to the dynamic routing, and uh, then. Uh, I will ask you a question. I'm gonna attempt this question in a comment box, and I will provide you the answer of my previous video's question. And uh, this is my Instagram link if you just want to join me there. First question is what is dynamic routing? So uh, sometime we cannot simply use a static routing. So let's say we can uh, we have some pages like about us page, contact us page, and uh, uh, user information page. That time we can simply put a, a static routing. But let's say Uh, you just want to make a list of users, and on the uh, list of click, you just want to open a complete information of a specific user, right? But you don't know how many users have in your database. It can be ten, twenty, thirty, or hundred or thousands even, right? So that in that case, we will just take a ID of this user or a name of this user as an parameter and send to the Uh, URL like this. This is my deck ID. ID. You can say that this is my slide ID here, right? And whenever I will just change this slide, this ID will begin a change, right? And same with the users. When we will just click on a different different user, this uh, ID will be changed. And uh, whenever we will just uh, send this ID to the database again, we will fetch the complete information of the user. I will show you how. So. First of all, you can see that. Uh, okay, so let me just make a small list of the users, so that uh, we can just create a dynamic routing here, right? So let take a user variable, right? Uh, let's take first like name can be like uh, Anil, and ID can be like uh, one, right? And just uh, create some more users. right so now we have four users and let's uh, make a list of uh, for them and use a map for them let's say user dot map let's use a uh, arrow function here and uh, make a div and uh, here we can just simply put here href and in href let's define a simply static routing let's say user for a moment after that we will create it dynamically right and here let's put a user name uh, like item okay just get a parameter from this arrow function and uh, just use item dot name right and uh, here you can see that we have a small list but uh, this list actually reloading on every a click so we have to control this also but uh, first of all let's just send a id of every user inside the parameter right uh, url parameter so what we can do here you can just simply use uh, jsx for this id and just put here item dot id here right and now you can see that we got a okay so i just need to use here one more slash and this is working fine all right so as you know this should not be refresh so let's handle it and uh, import something from react router dom and uh, just write here uh, browser router as router right as router as router then let's uh, import link and uh, route right and uh, after that we can just make a wrapper of router here so just simply write here router like this and uh, then um mm, 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 let's just change this uh, link to the 
uh, hrf with a link we type to the link and just use here to and convert this one also link and now you can just uh, find them they are actually not refreshing on every click right that's great so what we want we want to open a different page on this click so we want we need to make a component and show it as a page so just right here user dot js import something from uh, react router dom we need it later no need now so i'm just going to comment it and now just make a function user and a return and here we can just simply use your bracket then use a div here and uh, let's take h1 tag like a user component and uh, import it here import something from user user and uh, now let's use it here user like this but uh, for a moment this is not uh, okay what this is saying that uh, this is not present because we did not export it default user all right so but uh, this is not defined with the route not bind with that with the routes so let's bound bind it now let's uh, just make a route here close it put this uh, user inside it put here path and path can be like a uh, um, user right and uh, we can just simply put here a string also user then id and whenever we will id because we are just getting the id from here and this is our parameter name let's put here colon and uh, okay this mm, route is not visible okay i just need to add here slash now you can see that this is visible so let's just go on a home first of all now uh, user component is not visible now click on anyone whenever we will just use here user route with the id then this is visible but here you but still in a user component we don't have any id and all so that we can just get to know that this is dynamic now just go there and uh, import with route use this with route as a you can say HOC which we call it high order component right and just make a console here console dot one just print here props and let's get the props from parameters and here you can see that we got the uh, error let me check what's wrong with it let me just refresh it I think everything is fine yeah here you can see that we got here a uh, match inside match we got uh, id and all everything right so let's get id from here just simply put here uh, props dot match dot params dot id right and here you can see that we got a dynamically now right and with this id even you can uh, just get the more data from uh, database through API site and you can just put here user number three one two whatever you want to say right and now we just passed your one uh, parameter how we can pass two for that just uh, simply pass one more parameter and just add here item dot Mm, name and add one more params here slash colon name and whenever you will click on it now you can see that we got a name also so how we can access the name for that you just need to put here name simply right but we don't need to add here two divs because 
we need at least a single wrapper so now this is a uh, looking more dynamic name and uh, user name and user number right so this is the way that how you can uh, use this dynamic routing with the parameters if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box in last video i asked that why we use switches so switches what, ac what actually they do they just find a first route and return it so let's say you just create a two route for home page right so whenever they found the first one they will just return it return from there they are not uh, just matching the second one right so for example let's say you have two star router for 404 so whenever they find a first one they will not go on a second to second router right and uh, and that's all if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care